Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm welcoming the beautiful Ellen Moster to the studio. Ellen, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Ellen is the winner of our Smile Makeover giveaway competition that I launched on Instagram. And within the next three days, you are going to see a complete transformation <laughs> of this incredibly beautiful lady that's going to be even more beautiful on the inside and the outside when we are done with her. Who is Ellen Mostert? Okay. I turned 50 about two or three weeks ago. I'm a single mother for the past 17 years, raising three children. 17 years ago, I started an aftercare and that's what I'm doing, looking after my children and working. Tell me about the marriage that you were in that you decided to leave. It was an abusive marriage. Unfortunately, things happened and I'm glad I'm not raising my children in an abusive marriage at all so that they don't grow up to be, you know, to see what, what it's really like. So it was difficult times, but I prefer the financial struggle rather than the abuse. Mm. At the end of the day, the emotional scars will be much greater than the financial implications. Tell me how you found out about this competition or giveaway. On Instagram. I follow you on Instagram. <laughs> so yeah. Do you watch Moimok? Yeah. And what made you decide you could be the winner? The teeth. I think that was my main concern. From the abuse, it started there and that's why I've lost some teeth, you know, through the marriage from the abuse. And yeah, I just never got a chance to work on it. Ellen, do you have something in your mouth right now? Yeah, it's, a, it's two replacement teeth that I've got on a plate that I'm using. And do you feel, even with the plates, you feel awkward to smile? Yeah, because I can see it's not like natural. I mean, it's not, it's not nice. Yeah. So do you smile differently on photos and in real life? Don't open my mouth. It's just like an embarrassment all the time. If you can please read me your entry letter. Good day. I would hereby like to nominate myself for this makeover and decided to send this today on my 50th birthday. I would like to mean someone special in the future, but with this look, no one is interested. It is supposed to be a celebration today, but I feel so unwanted and unloved because of my teeth. Once this makeover is done, I want to start living again. You look emotional now. I am. Yeah, nice. What is going through your mind and your heart? Gratefulness. Yeah. I'm totally grateful and blessed. Did you ever think this would happen? No. Something that I wanted to do for a long time and then there was just no way. Ellen, thank you for, for opening up your heart. It's not easy. I know. You've got a lot to be very proud of. Thanks. And I think you're an amazing example and it's my privilege and my team's privilege to be able to do something for you now. Today we're at the beautiful practice of Dr. JJ Sarfontaine here in the Waterfront Cape Town. Thank you for being part of this amazing episode. I think especially now, right? After, after the last two years that we've had, exactly. it was obviously very tough. So, so uh, it's a privilege. Thank you. JJ and I go way back and we have collaborated on over 36 Moimok makeovers to date. So I couldn't think of anyone more appropriate and more skilled to be taking care of Ellen's smile transformation. JJ, looking at Ellen's smile, what would you say are the biggest problems with it? She's lost quite a lot of teeth over the years, yes. you know, and this is generally what happens to most patients uh, that we see. Um, you know, it usually starts with one. Yes. And then ultimately that system starts to break down and then we lose more and more teeth, like a house of cards falling apart. And obviously for Ellen, I mean, this is, this is it. You know, she's lost so much teeth which has an impact on exactly how she eats, you know, how she functions. It's got to be very, very uncomfortable. And then most of all, you can imagine what that does for their confidence, you know, not having teeth in the front. It is there's so, so much psychology behind it, yes. you know, just being yourself and not to worry about something like a smile this is, is priceless. So what is your advice to anyone watching this video at home that maybe has a tooth that has fallen out? What is your advice to them? Well, obviously, it's, 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 it's our try to replace it, try to save teeth first. I think this is fundamentally more important than trying to replace it afterwards. Mm -hmm. It's actually just to take care of it. You know, sometimes you'll, it, you'll be surprised to just go to your local oral hygienist. You know, just do that six month clean. She's going to check a little bit for you and see if there's something going on. So I think ultimately the best advice that we give patients is to constantly check it. You know, you know this, it's like any other part of the body. You know, um, you have to, if you, the ones you ignore it, uh, usually that damage can be quite severe. 
And we've got a little saying that says, um, you know, dentistry is not expensive, but neglect is. Can you see evidence of the physical abuse that she suffered in her mouth? We often see this, unfortunately, in abusive relationships that, if especially on physical, that, that teeth are always in the way, you know. And again, we said, once you break a tooth, once that tooth gets damaged, you know, ultimately it's going to have an effect. And then it's that card house that starts to fall apart. JJ, so our goal today is to give Ellen a brand new smile. So what is the plan to get that right? We want to obviously get it a bit healthier for her. Uh, there's a lot of infection going on. There's some tooth decay involved, which causes pain for her. So we want to help her from that perspective. Yes. Uh, and then second of all, we want to give her the smile back. Okay, so I mean, she doesn't have any teeth, you know, in the front. She doesn't have teeth in the smile. She's walking around with this little plate, you know, as most people unfortunately do, you know, once they've lost teeth. So that's going to be the goal. We are going to give her something that's fixed in there uh, and it's natural looking and it's stronger and it's, and it's less painful and she's going to eat better and she's going to feel better about herself and that's the plan. So what exactly are the mechanisms that you're going to be using to fix her smile? Well, we're basically going to uh, rely on permanent ceramics. We don't use porcelains and these things anymore. We don't use metal, so we use very specialized uh, ceramics uh, to be able to do this. And this will then, in her case, come in the format of crowns, bridges, uh, and of course, veneers, ultimately, to help to create her smile and give her something that's fixed and strong. JJ, so by the sounds of it, we're doing a lot of work on Ellen's mouth. How are we going to get that right in only six hours? I know, right? Look, I think, uh, Claire, this is one of the fascinating things about modern aesthetic and, and reconstructive dentistry is that we are able to do all of this on a digital platform. So this will include that uh, 3D printing, 3D milling, 3D design. Uh, it's faster, it's quicker. We do everything ourselves right here in the practice. Um, to be able to produce these things and and so therefore yeah you can literally give somebody a smile in six hours you know no more taking impressions and waiting for seven days with temporaries etc etc so it's, it's quite remarkable and it's uh, it's not a lot of us can that can do that um, but it is it is very rewarding for us to be able to do this in real time and, and to be able to see this this change happening as fast as it does uh, and, and giving the patient less trauma i suppose near yes that's awesome! Guys, it is now only six hours later since we started with Ellen's dramatic smile makeover transformation. Literally in less than one day, Dr. JJ Salfontaine has changed this woman's life. And it is now time for her to meet the new Ellen Mostert. Okay, three, two, one. I can't believe it. Look at that smile. Do you like what you see? Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you very much. I know that when I had the initial intake interview with you, you were very guarded about everything that you've gone through and I can understand that you don't want to share your pain with the world. Um, and that that's something that for many, many years you had to deal with by yourself. Do you, do you remember this woman? <laughs> Hey, how's that for a before and after in one day? And what is your message to anyone watching this episode that maybe doesn't make time for themselves and hasn't done something for themselves in a very long time? It's not too late for miracles. Miracles still do happen. JJ, come into the shot. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very rapid ready video, guys. I think it's gonna look awesome. Mm -hmm. The gum settles and everything looks better. Gonna look fantastic, eh? Hey? No more plastics. No more plastics. Hey? No more plastic, only fantastic. Only fantastic. <laughs> look at that. See? It's gonna be beautiful. JJ, right. how does it feel today standing here knowing that you have literally changed the life of a woman that never thought she was gonna have the opportunity to get a new smile? Oh, I'm, 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 I'm very glad. Obviously, it's it's amazing. We love doing this and you know she had so much guts, I have to say. Just by the way, not everybody would have done what she did today. So that really speaks volumes. <laughs> this is a woman that raised three kids in 17 years, all by herself without any support. It's amazing, it's amazing. I could see that today. 
Yeah, and I hope you see more of that. Exactly. <laughs> I hope that that strength inside is now matched by joy inside and peace inside as well. Thank you very much for both. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Ellen! <laughs> <Christmas. laughs> <laughs>